Hi friends! So today I wanted to tell you about a story that happened to me in New Zealand. I was preparing to leave the country and I had a Jeep Wrangler, which is super fun. And it has a soft top, so it was just a lot of fun down there. And I went snowboarding with my friend, my roommate, my friend down there for the last time. And we parked, I drove and I parked in the parking lot. And New Zealand has these birds, these birds called Kias, K-E-A. And these birds will go after the rubber on like your windshield. That was not my problem. My problem was that the Kia birds, a bird, ate through my soft top like two inches of my soft top. Now I had already listed my Jeep for sale because I'm leaving the country in two weeks and I'm moving back to the United States, which is in the other side of the planet. And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> the bird is eating my Jeep top. Like, what do I do? I need to get it fixed. I'm in New Zealand. I don't know what to do. I only have two weeks before I'm leaving and it needs to be sold before then. Oh my God. And so my initial reaction, of course, is the, oh my God, this is crazy, this is horrible, and I'm gonna cry. And I had that bit of reaction, and that's natural, of course, I'm gonna choose that. At the same time, I only had two weeks left with my friend, my roommate that I adored, that I've been hanging out with most of my time in New Zealand. I was there for almost three years, and you know, am I gonna sulk for two weeks and then not see her probably again or, you know, not for a long time? Or am I going to enjoy our time together and find the humor in this? Now, maybe in retrospect, you're like, oh yeah, that's kind of funny, like a bird can eat through your soft top. Uh, at the time, it wasn't so funny, <laughs> but at the time I realized, and this was the most stark moment of realizing that, that I had a choice. I could choose to react or it could choose to respond. And it was so prominent. I just sat there and I'm like, oh my God. I cried a little bit, of course. And then I was just like, okay, well, it happened. <laughs> Crying and sulking is not gonna fix it. I, I have to go through the whole procedure to fix it, regardless of how I choose to respond. And wouldn't it be better to respond laughing about it now, <laughs> instead of just waiting till later, when it actually is funny, uh, and then enjoy the two weeks with my friend and the drive back, a 40 minute drive back to home. And so that, that was a very monumental moment in my life of really realizing that choice, that it's really a choice on how we respond. Whether we react or we respond is up to us. And you have more power, you're empowered if you choose to respond to the situation in a way that makes sense. And yes, of course, experience the emotions, because I did, I mean, I cried. <laughs> I was sat there down at the parking lot, my snowboard next to me, and I'm just like, no, oh my gosh, it can't be happening. Uh, and so you you know, you know, let that flow out, but don't let it happen for two weeks and, and allow yourself to process those emotions because it is good to get it out. Massage therapists will tell you, a lot of people build up emotions in their body. And so you do want to release those emotions and you also want to decide how you're going to choose to respond because honestly, in a situation like that, it is kind of funny that there's a bird, a bird, it's a bird that ate through the soft top of my Jeep. And so it made it much more fun of a drive back because we laughed a lot about it. And, uh, and then we enjoyed our, my last two weeks in New Zealand and I got it fixed. Of course, you know, there are Jeep places, there are car dealerships that can fix that soft top or replace it and just pay the money. You lost money, yes. Um, but there was, crying about it wasn't gonna make it cost less to fix. It was just how I was gonna spend the next two weeks. So I hope you take this challenge upon yourself to think about when things happen, uh, let the emotions flow and then choose, be empowered, choose how to respond instead of simply reacting. Until next time, thanks.